Alright, 15 minute health consultation, mini consultation for Verity McShay. Thanks for donating. I'm just going to leave it on the same screen I usually record off the sticky notes. So, where I started with my health thing, like where I really started to focus on everything I was eating and you know, also really what I was thinking and everything because they go together and you'll even find food affects your thought and vice versa. I was in the university, um, completely just living in the university and we don't have dormitories there in Australia in Southern Cross where I went. I was inside the uni and I just had to do it very slyly. Anyway, I was, you know, next to vending machines. So that's where I've started. The first thing I did was change my liquids. Now we're all different, we all go to something, you said, um, you know, you, you drink a bit of cider now and then, and some other things, like smoke some herb, you know, the herb, that's not so bad. Um, you get acetones, and obviously you affect your lungs with particulate matter and stuff, but anyway, there's worse things than smoking cannabis. Um, like smoking tobacco in cigarettes, <laughs> for instance. Anyway, we all go to our little thing, you know, whether you're from UK and you go for a cider, whether you're from Australia and you go for a beer, I don't know, maybe you're uh, an Inuit and you go for a bit of seal fat. <laughs> we, all, we all go to something and, and kind of run to something. And, you know, some people say in the health movement it's not even sometimes what you add in, it's sometimes what you quit and stop. So there's a lot of wisdom in that, and um, one of the first things I did was stop drinking anything but good liquids. So anything that wasn't the, um, I was lucky, I had uh, coconut water in the vending machine, so I was onto that straight away. But what I did, the major thing I did was fill two 1.5 litre bottles, and I would take one with water with me around all day, and the other one would have tea and you know, I would flavor, flavor the tea with hibiscus, and you hide, you hide things like, I don't know, valerian root or something behind it, and it keeps you relaxed, and you don't taste the dirty sock taste of valerian root, because you've got hibiscus or stevia or something in the front end. Um, and so basically, liquids of vitality, um, and yes, I was coining the term uh, there that, um, uh, what's his name, Dr. Robert Kazar, has videos on liquids of vitality. I found him a few years ago too, while I was uh, starting into all this. So you go to his channel, Earthshift Products, um, Dr. Kazar, and he has a lot of videos on liquids of vitality. You don't have to get that intense. Like, that's why I told you what I did. It was very simple. I had one pure water bottle of pure water, and then I had one water bottle of tea, because sometimes you need just the hydration and very pure, it seems, and other times you need, like, flavor. And that's probably why you also run to uh, a cider. And also, we, we get in these sugar cycles when we're bored as well, and definitely when we're ungrounded. So my big things I want to put forth is, you know, change your liquid first. The salad will reset you, and the salad is the big deal. I don't want to harp on about it because I've done a previous video on it for Ryan Mullen. You can check that video in the Conscious Zine playlist. Ryan Mullen at uh, Health Advice in 2016, I think I made that. And um, yeah, just to reiterate the salad, you know, the salad is, um, or basically going vegan, but you know, I'll just say a salad. You don't have to have, have it every day. Uh, you know, just add a few more salads in uh, and a few more and a few more see where you end up pretty comfortably but make sure you do this this is my little secret add in the good fats the the fat fruits are very rare the avocado and the olive i hope you like them i love them but they they and peanuts add that to your salad and you get a density so you, you get off meat and the sugar cycle um, because meat and the sugar cycle are very associated, the meat and the sugar. The um, worms in your stomach work with a lot of parasites and bacteria in your body. I don't want to get too deep because this is a beginner sort of session, but you, I'm kind of trying to mention everything a little bit. But, um, you know, I started with the liquids, okay? And if you look at the grid type eating chart, I think I also have a video on it, how to eat grid type eating. Again, probably in the Conscious Zine playlist. 
um, you see that there, it goes from uh, breatharianism, liquidarianism, uh, veganism, vegetarianism, um, I don't know, like omnivore or whatever. So there's types, there's grid eating, you know, grid type eating. And liquidarianism should be your base. It doesn't mean you forever, always, from now on, become a breatharian. It's a bit difficult, um, unless you're Pralhar Jani and you go off to a cave at seven years old. <laughs> and you don't eat since you're seven. But um, for most of us, it's pretty impossible to get completely off food. But don't underestimate fasting, because it disconnects the parasites. And I'm telling you, as the Human Bacterium Project has realized, we're made up of more bacteria than we are our own cells. Ten times more, in fact. So don't underestimate the bad guys, so to speak, the, the bad bacteria, who are really, really um, the ones... You know, screaming for the sugar a lot. I mean, our cells, you know, run off ATP and everything breaks down to sugar anyway. But we're talking more the refined end of sugars and, you know, the bad sugars. So that's another point there. There's bad and good sugars, there's bad and good salt, and so on. You know, Himalaya salt's better than um, normal salt, the table salt, sodium chloride, and then better than Himalaya is sea salt. So you can go up in levels, but because this is a beginner video, I just wanted to mention really the, the way I started was with the drinks, okay? So change your liquids and you'll find a massive uh, change, but it's funny that when you eat salads, the salad has liquid in it, not to mention the liquid has all the bitters and all the really good compounds that disconnect parasites, heal things, change your four humors, your bile, blood, lymph, and phlegm. And, and look, there's lots of benefits of just the salad base, the greens of your salad. But uh, that's why I said when you get into the salad thing, you're going to get bored of just eating, you know, rabbit food, people call it, or just, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe carrot, tomato, and, and um, lettuce. So you need to change it up. You always ro rotate your greens, but my secret is to add in the dense um, fruits and the peanuts. And you get the de-stressing from the peanut chewing, and then you get all your fats and your density feeling from the avocado and the um, olives, and you feel full. Because if you just eat lettuce, say carrot and tomato, you don't feel full. It's like I could eat probably five salads in a day like that, and you don't feel sort of as satiated, you call it, as satisfied. So the liquids and the salad are massive when you're beginning, in my opinion, because of the disconnection of the parasite factor, mainly. And you're also getting in your nutrition, so your body doesn't um, sort of mis-signal and miscommunicate that it wants things. If you look into health a lot, you'll see there's charts people make that when you're feeling like a chocolate, you actually need something else, like peanuts or something. Um, I forget the charts, but there's a lot of them, and I don't know which ones are correct for sure. But there are some good ones I do remember that I thought uh, I felt were pretty correct. So it's like craving charts where they say if you feel like this, you actually need this. Okay, and yeah, to reiterate back and circle right back around, your thoughts are a big thing on this, and it will build your character. It will build your tenth dimensional will force um, if you, you know, start focusing on your health, because you'll find that you're made up of thoughts, feelings, and so on that aren't really stable. Some of them aren't really yours. Some of them are compromised, some of them are from the monkey mind and just silly. So you're going to see there's lots of parts parts of yourself, but the main thing I was trying to say there is you're actually made up of more bacteria and viruses and blah 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 than you are your cells, and ten times more in fact. So you're your cells, you're not all the bacteria and the parasites, yeah? Let's just say parasites because it covers everything from worms to bacteria. So you're actually made up of 10 times more parasites and uh, bacteria and blah 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 than you are your own cells. So in the beginning the salad really... Oh, my tent's falling. <laughs> in the beginning you really... Um, uh, you want to start out with the salad and the liquids and you're actually sort of jumping straight to the best anyway. But yeah, changing the liquid, like coconut water is awesome. 
again it's satiating because it's a little bit like you know fatty as well oily and, and that sort of thing and you've got your electrolytes and it's more dense than um, sometimes just drinking water all day it seems to get into me better so just focus on your liquids and then your salads um, at the start and you also wanted to know what are uh, what did you say? Um, you wanted to know more energetic foods. Well, I've already mentioned a salad, and to to say it properly is to say live foods, foods which are alive. Uh, I don't know if you've studied any health stuff, but you'll hear a lot of raw food enthusiasts say that, and they're they're right. You know, they're they're right on. Um, I've tried it for myself, so I'm not just spilling their spill. I tried it for my own, in, in my own experience, I have to agree and say they're right. Um, am I a raw foodist? Yeah, kind of. I really, I really love my uh, raw nature-picked wild foods. And when you get to the, the real, the height of this um, health movement stuff, you want wild foods because they're stronger than store-bought foods because they have to withstand all the stuff in nature, you know, all the soil bacteria, etc. And if you read in science, it's actually true that they're stronger. So I love my wild picked salads and stuff, you know, wild food, I love it. I feel better after it. I feel more energetic life force in them. And that's what you asked me. So I mean, I have to tell you the truth, that it's the wild foods you're really after. And that's why I say everyone living in the city is, is toxic because you, and you guys don't even know it you just say oh he's just saying that i don't eat mcdonald's no but it doesn't it's not even mcdonald's it's just all the food in the city and you just haven't studied enough and i'm sure you will agree after a few years not just a few weeks of reading but after a few years five years half a decade of actually uh, you know figuring this stuff out you're gonna agree and you'll end up at the same place I am. You want wild foods, you want alive foods, you don't want as much store-bought um, dead food in packages, and etc. All these common themes come in. So one other major thing I want to mention is absorption. You think you're eating stuff and just because you've put it down your gullet, <laughs> you think you're absorbing it, but not always the case. You may have a lot of crap in your gut stuck to the gut wall, um, especially if you drink sugary sticky drinks, um, eating meat, stuff like that, eating um, bread. You get a whole build up on your gut wall and you actually don't absorb a lot of things. So salad, again, will clean all this out, will change all your four humours, in fact. And your four humours are a type of immune system. It's the, uh, I think they call it the secondary immune system. And there's another word for it, but... Um, the four humours, your lymph, blood, bile, and phlegm, are actually an immune system object, just like all of your white blood cells and all of that. So actually, um, you change your immunity just by eating a salad as well. And I don't know, all this comes together in the end to make you feel more alive, because if your immune system is being bogged down, you feel like you've got less energy. So there's just one point on that. Um, yeah, look, so that's pretty much my beginner comments, um, you know, this is not a full health consultation, I, I can go into individual foods, but alive foods, obviously superfoods, blah blah blah, all the obvious stuff, but alive foods, change your liquids, and a salad now and then really helps, and grounding, eating light, or negative anionization or negative ions from the earth. It's I call it eating light because you're actually absorbing it. It's like you're eating through your skin. Your skin is your biggest organ, so I'm not just being crazy. So yeah, eat light as well, and that's massively going to change your health. Uh, grounding uh, with the big tall, big toe ball or the K1 meridian. Okay. So if you would like a further health consultation or anyone listening, uh, my basic health consultation for two and a half hours is $111. And the advanced consultation, which is more like spiritual stuff, less just food, is $222 for uh, like three hours or something like that. But we can stretch it and I actually give you feedback weeks after in that 
version if you pay $200 for a few weeks after. Things will come to me about you and your situation. So I'll, I'll keep following up. Consciousazine.com Chronicle.